before I even start this um, rant, I'm just going to say my new phrase for 2019 is hit dogs holler. Hit dogs holler, okay? So, what I want to talk about today is friend and family enablers. So, to enable is to allow somebody to pretty much live in a way that is not in alignment with their values um, and not say anything or contribute to the behavior. So, I just want to point out that, you know, as we grow up, we can't pick and choose our family, right? Um, but at, at to some point when we're young, we don't really pick our friends. We're just kind of put around people and like, bam, you my friend, you like what I like. So that's how a lot of our friendships start early on. However, I feel like as you start to get older and you decide what you do, what you don't want in your life, a lot of those decisions are motivated by your values. Um, and so as you get older and you get to start picking your friends and picking the people that you want to be around, you choose people whose values are in alignment with yours. Pretty much. That's one of the big ways we decide who we want in our space. So I say all that to say, when you continue to um, engage with somebody who are doing things that go against that, those sets of values, then that should cause, cause some incongruence in your spirit, right? You should not be able to kind of just sit back and not do anything. And I think this comes, the reason why people struggle with this a lot is because, I want to say especially millennials, but people in general struggle, struggle with this. We are so stuck in between like minding our business, mind the business that pays you. Um, we're, we're so stuck on that where when we see things being done wrong, injustices, all this other type of stuff, the, the cop out is, oh, I didn't say anything because it wasn't my business. However, you know that that person's behavior or their actions is negatively affecting someone else. So if that doesn't rifle something in your spirit, then it's something off about that. So let's let's throw out examples, right? Um, I feel like, like especially within black families, we enable a lot of behavior. We literally just saw a fat ass case of enabling in the R. Kelly case. Look at all of those people who are around him who could have said something, who could have done something and did nothing. Like, we literally sit there and tell them that they are all responsible. And so the same thing goes for us. But for example, um, in one of my group of friends, I I have a fr I had a friend who we were concerned might have a drinking problem, right? Um, and so because we did not want to, and not only drinking, but maybe some illicit drug use outside of like weed or whatever. Um, and it was causing her to act just not in a very good way. Um, and so we, my friends and I, we got together and decided like, how can we, what can we do? Like, cause we can't, you, the thing is you can't tell nobody how to act. You can't tell no grown person what to do and you can't make them do nothing. However, you can let them know that you are not seeing um, them pretty much live up to their potential or be the person that you know that they have the capabilities of being. So this friend, we all got together like, well, what can we do? So one thing we decided that we were we were going to do is when we go out or do anything that involves alcohol, we weren't going to include her. And that's not because we didn't want to spend time with her, but because we did not want to be a part of the problem. How am I going to sit here and look at you knowing you have a drinking problem and that your alcoholism is messing up other shit in your life and then go out with you and feed you drinks? What type of friend would that make me? So... That's just a, one of many examples of how you can do very small things to kind of get your friends to see that what they're doing isn't okay. How many of you are really having the hard conversations with your friends about shit that you know is not like them? Um, because are you just are you just turning the blind eye like, well, whatever they want to do, it ain't my business. It's like, it takes a certain extent. If you knew one of your homies was um, beating on their kids or something, I'm pretty sure if 
you are a good person and you have a moral system that you would say something and if not you're a terrible individual but it takes the extreme stuff for y'all to want to insert yourself everybody want to act like they so assertive and they so outspoken and they speak what's on their mind until it's time to really speak what's on your mind and in regards to somebody that you you care about because pretty much when you continue to be around the behavior and not say nothing, you start to tell them that it's okay. Whatever they're doing, it's okay. I never forget my um my own brother got into a little jam. My dad said one time, okay, I'm gonna come help you out. The second time. I'm not, I'm not, because that would be enabling his behavior, teaching him that every time he fuck up or do something wrong, somebody's gonna be there to save him. And that's just not real life. So again, if you truly care about people, you have to have hard conversations with them. With my, with, with the example that I gave earlier with my friend, we had to let her know like after one time that what she, where she was at, it wasn't where we was at. And so if she couldn't figure that out, then, or we couldn't help her figure it out, then we could no longer associate with her on the same level that we used to. Um, and again, it's a hard conversation to have, but are you really friends? Are you really family if you can't, you know, let somebody know what needs to be said? The other day, I uh, posted something about, you know, the R. Kelly that, you know, uh, What's her name? Kim Fox was saying, you know, our Kelly accused come forward, and I, you know, of course, some guy was like, we got all these, we got all these uh mur murders to worry about, um, but that's what you want to focus on, and it's like I had to call out something very clear. A lot of, especially these niggas, a lot of y'all know murderers. Y'all know people that be out here killing, but yeah, you want to focus on the unsolved murders, but you know somebody that got bodies. You're a hypocrite. So, stop being a hypocrite. Stop sitting there and being like, oh, we need to do X, Y, and Z, or this is how you should be, but then you hanging around people that don't reflect that. You being friends with people that don't reflect that. Again, value system. Um, one of the best videos I saw, and again, what, what, before I get into that, another part of this is helping the people that you care about be accountable. We all need to practice some accountability. And so you need to help those around you be accountable. That's what a village is. That's what you do. You pour into people, they pour into you, and y'all should be able to look out for each other and talk to each other when some shit is awful, when somebody is off their square. Um, but back to the video I saw um, on Twitter, where this guy is pretty much like him and his friends confront another one of their friends about fucking with a 14-year-old girl. And... Um, they confront him and you know they like calling him out like this is wrong you you know better this shit ain't right blah 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 and then they get to a point they like we we homies I don't want to do this but I gotta do this and they beat his ass they beat his ass just to teach him off the strength he may do it again but just to teach him off the strength that you not gonna be our homie and doing fucked up shit you not gonna be out here doing all types of reckless stuff and expect for us to be friends with you. And I'm going to teach you a lesson. And so sometimes that's what people need. People need a lesson from their friends to show that they're not playing. Again, you could talk to somebody, you know, a lot of us got friends out here who are, you know, dabbling in, in who are taking, you know, drinking too much or taking drugs and we seeing them kind of deteriorate. I know some of y'all got friends like that going out drinking every weekend, drinking every day, can't do shit without a bottle, can't do shit without popping something or smoking something. I know y'all know somebody like that. Somebody that you probably care about. Have you sat down and told them like, bro, I don't know what's going on, but let me help you figure it out. I want better for you. Everybody be so about having, you know, motherfuckers on their team that's on the same page, but y'all letting somebody slip through the cracks and not even saying nothing. Or not even acknowledging it because it ain't your business. We got to get out of that. Like, that's not what villages are about. We we need to be each other's business sometimes. Because what's done in the dark going to come to the light. And you want to be there to make sure that you did your part to help your friend. And at the end of the day, if you ain't never had a friend, like, call you out about some shit, 
then y'all not real friends. Like, it's been times where I've been acting in ways I know I shouldn't have been acting, and I needed somebody in my ear to be like, yeah, this ain't this, sis. Because then it forced me to look at myself, seeing if the people that care about me are saying this, maybe I should pay attention. But again, y'all just want to sit back, turn a blind eye, not say shit, and watching shit affect other people. That be my thing. You sitting back and you watching the shit affect other people. There are so many examples I could give of this shit. Like, you know your homie like to drug, uh, drug girls, get girls high, get them drunk, and then try to fuck on them. Like, that's some goofy shit. You know that your homie not paying for shit uh, for his kids or not supporting his kids, but he outside all the time spending money on X, Y, and Z. Like, you know your homegirl supposed to be um, at work tonight, but you going out having drinks with her. Like, little shit like that that just people just be like, oh, it ain't my business. But, yeah, if that was you, you looking at them like, couldn't be me. But, like, that's, that's phony. Like... Y'all sit there and hang out with people and then turn around and be like, I could never. I, I I couldn't be like that or I couldn't do this. Women that date uh niggas with kids that they don't take care of and think that he gonna treat you any better. Like, it's just, it's that type of stuff. Like, the toxic shit that we need to really work on uprooting, but we can't because nobody wants to call a spade a spade. You can sensitively come to your friend and let them know how you feel. Because you genuinely have their best interests. And if they don't want to change, that's fine. But then you need to go about changing how you deal with them. Because if you don't, then you teaching them that it's okay. I don't care if my friend um, do fucked up shit. That's pretty much what you're saying. But that's all I got on this topic. Thanks for tuning in.